The opening keynote of Google I.O. 2016 has just concluded and we have a lot of new exciting features that Google unveiled to share with you. First, let's start with Android N. Now, Google unveiled the latest version to its Android N developer preview. We have version 3.0 and you can now download it over the air to your Nexus devices. And the final version is coming later this summer. But this is a better great version. So what do we get here? What's new? Probably the most exciting new features come in the multitasking department. You have split screen multitasking. It allows you to use two apps simultaneously side by side, play with both of them at the same time. You can also use the new picture in picture view where you watch a video and do something on the side or you can use the quick switch button which is something like the out and tap shortcut for Windows. You double tap on the recents button to switch between the two most recent apps which is quite neat. Then you have changes to the notification system in Android N. You have now bundled notifications. Google says that more than 50% of the notifications come from messages. So this is one neat way to have one thread with all your mes messages. You can also do quick replies straight from the notification dropdown. So you don't have to go into the actual app to reply to your messages. Now this works for most messenger clients, but not for Gmail or email, where you actually have to go in the mail app itself. What else is new in Android then? Well, you have security updates. Google is pushing uh, file level encryption here over uh, traditional block-based encryption, which is a more secure method. You also have a new just-in-time compiler with faster app installs. And when you reboot your phone in, in the install updates, you no longer have to wait for the apps to optimize, which is quite neat. Well. This is about it when it comes to Android N, but Android N was far from everything that Google announced at I.O. 2016. The company actually focused on its deep learning, artificial intelligence uh, algorithms, and related to that, it brought the new Google Assistant, which is a proactive assistant, something similar to Siri. It will take your questions, take your follow-ups to questions, recognize contacts and answer them. Now, Google Assistant works with Android phones, but it will also have a dedicated gadget that will work with it. It's called Google Home. It's like a nice speaker that you can put in various places in your home and it's an always on listening speaker. You can always ask it questions and get replies, smart replies at that. You also have quite a few new essential apps. You have Google Allo, a new messaging service that is similar to Hangouts but comes with quite a few important improvements. Now, it does not replace Hangouts, but it will rather be uh, a different app that you can choose to use or not. Now, what does it uh, stand out with? You have Emoji 9, Unicode 9 codes, you have stickers, you have your regular file and chat sending features, group chats as well, but then you also have uh, a very nice way to um, accentuate what you're saying by making text larger, kind of like shouting or smaller for whisper-like functionality. And you also have an incognito mode where you can have private and secure chats. Next, you have Google Duo. And Google, Google Duo is a video calling service similar to Apple's uh, FaceTime. But the difference is that you can actually see a preview of what the caller is actually doing at the moment. So you get some very important context so you can decide whether you or not you want to take that particular call. And the interface of the app is very clean, very uh, simple and very easy to use. Now this wraps up most important things around Google I.O. 2016. Do let us know which of these things are you most excited about. And for more information, make sure to go to phonearena.com where we're covering the events live as they happen. As always, thanks for watching.